Is it possible to be a happy traveler? Ooh. Can travel make you happy? Can travel make you unhappy? Ah. Are there ways to be happy traveling? Mm. Hopefully, because that's what we're talking about next. Hey, it's Scott and Jeff. We're talking about getting up in the clouds today. You know, getting up and away from it all and literally... There's no clouds, though. Not only are... That's because we're up and away from oh, them. Oh, we're way above them. We're way, way up above, up in the mountains. You can sort of see here we're high above the Salt Lake Valley. The Rockies. A couple of million people down there. Doesn't just that sound like a beer commercial? The Rockies. You know, you got the river. Oh, yeah. Is there a river? No, we should no, have one, though. No, but, yeah, some of the... make a sound of... <laughs> <laughs> that anyway. was pretty good. Yeah, I like the whoop, whoop. Yeah. Smith. So we're up here and uh, we're talking about getting up in the air a little bit. What does that mean? How to be happy. Good way to be happy. Get away from where you live. Get on a plane and travel somewhere. Fly away. Fly away. <laughs> I think that was, was that John Denver? I don't know who it was. No, I, I don't remember. But Something from the 70s. Fly, I don't think it was... We just lost all the millennials out It there. was just horrible, wasn't it? <laughs> well, it's that vibrato that usually sends them packing. Um, yeah. So air travel. Uh, really, you know, it's so it's so much more accessible, affordable, oh my gosh, economical at, uh, than it ever was. Yeah, yesterday I was looking at flights from Salt Lake to one of the various uh, Los Angeles airports, whether it's LAX or whether it's... Long Beach, $185 round trip. Wow. I mean, that's... That's crazy. You got to do it. $185 from, uh, this is from Salt Lake City, yeah. where we're uh, currently at, to Long Beach, 185 bucks. Yeah. That's less than $200. You will spend that in gas driving from here to there because it's a 10-hour drive, it's and longer. gas is three yeah. plus per gallon these oh, days. Yeah. And, you know, and for a flight that's only really an hour... You can afford, so to speak, comfort-wise, yeah. to sit in steerage. Yeah. You don't have to have an aisle. It's okay if your knees are in your mouth. It's for an hour. You know, you just get on the plane and you just go. Yeah, but, but can I tell you how to make the, the trip more pleasurable, not only for you, but for everybody around? Oh, I'd if like to hear pleasurable. Kids, yeah. please, don't let them kick the back of the seat in front of you. <laughs> I know that you know yeah. what I'm talking about because when we're traveling with my daughter, I, that's like the number one priority for me. Honey, don't let Keep your, your feet touch still. the front. I don't know, what, what are some of the things that ruin the travel experience for you? Well, same kind of a thing with anyone at any age, but it's not being aware of the seat in front of you, it, whether it's kicking it, whether it's the pounding on oh, the video yeah. screen. Pap, 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 pip, pap, pip. My head is going. Like a little hand pecking out code. Or when you get up to go to the bathroom and you leverage yourself on the seat in front of you, that's my head. You can just as easily use your seat. Lean backwards. I mean, you know, forwards. It's just. Oh yeah, getting in into your seat, getting out of your seat, all of that. The one that kills me, and I know we're talking about how to be happy. So, so what we want to do is we want to weave in sort of a message of tolerance as well. So easing up yeah. on others. And so these things that we're describing, there's an ease up in both directions. There's be aware mm -hmm. of how annoying you are, and then we'll be aware of how annoyed we get. And we'll both try to meet in the middle. Yeah. We won't get too upset. But here's one that gets me when it comes to travel is the moving walkway. Oh. I'm inevitably in a hurry because mm -hmm. I, I, I admit I procrastinate and I show up to the airport exactly at the last minute that I really need to be there to get through security, etc. And when people stand on the yeah. moving walkway, which they're allowed to do. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Yeah. But fine, it says stand on the right, the right side, so that we can pass by you on the left. On the left. It's not an amusement park ride. No. And escalators, yeah, obviously that makes sense. You're you're going up or down, and it's tiring and whatever. But but really, you know, if you have any energy, you could still take the steps while they're moving. I mean, they're still steps. Yeah. It's just that they're helping you along in a similar fashion. A walkway is called a walkway. You're supposed to be walking yeah. on it. But if not, please don't 
Yeah, don't take the whole space. If you look back, you're kind of like that loser in the left passing lane on the freeway, yeah, yeah. and everyone is queued up behind you because you're going 50 and a 55. Mm -hmm. Look behind you, be considerate. That's the that's yeah, one of the yeah, things. Here's that another one. Me. If you're on a three by three, now when we say a three by three plane, oh. there's three seats on one side, then you got the aisle, and then yeah. there's three on the left. Unless you are traveling as a family, pull the armrest down between the middle seats. <laughs> Okay, sometimes you get on the plane, if you're first on the plane like a lot of us are, all the armrests are up. When you get in, put it down. I don't want to be nuzzled up to, you know, yeah. Billy Von Stadelberg. We're getting skin thigh. contact with you know, Tubby put Magoo. Put thing down, exactly. <laughs> it's just... And by the way, it's not, a, it's not a friggin' Oklahoma land rush for the armrests. Yeah. You know, if, if you know, we, we kind of just have to be civil about this, but it's okay if our elbows touch a little. Yeah. You don't have to own the armrest. And sometimes I'll actually turn over to the guy next to me and go, look, I know you're in the middle, so you're probably worried about, are you going to have to sit like this the whole time? I'll be happy to give you this armrest. Yeah. You can have that one. But, but make sure that we all have something. Yeah. Or now and then we can take turns. Mm -hmm. You know, like just have a conversation yeah. about it. If you're open and frank, then you don't have yeah. all the weirdness of yeah. sharing. Yeah. Last one for me. When the plane lands and when oh, the plane I know where stops, you're going. Yeah, I know where you're going. And you hear the <laughs> which means everybody can get up. If I'm on the aisle and then there's someone in the middle seat and you're at the window, stay don't seated. Don't get up. Yeah. What do you Where think are you going? Doing? Yeah, where are you going? Let me just reach over and kind of straddle you and get my back. Unless you are in a horrible hurry to another connection, which most this of the time happens. you're not. This happens. Happens, though. Just stay seated. Or how about these people who've put their bags, they sit up here, and their bags are back here. So they feel like because their bags are back here and they're seated up there. Yeah, they're going to lose that their they bag. Well, that they have every right to come, hurry up and come back. And uh, excuse me, my bag's back there. Hey, buddy, you wait your turn until we're off. Yeah. And then you can come back and get your bag because they'll come back and then they'll get it. And then they think that they have the right to swim to back, back up. I got to get my place back in yeah. line up yeah. there. I got to move back. It's my right. The whole idea is really, where are you going? When the plane is stopped, there's one door. I mean, even when I'm sitting on the aisle, I will not get up until I need to. Mm -hmm. I'll wait for all 58 people in front of me to each take their turn, and, and then I'll start getting up. And I'm not going to slow anything down, of no. course, because where am I going? No. I can't go anywhere. Yeah, it's not going to speed anything. I got a guy sitting next to me doing this. Uh, yeah. Well, what? This whole aisle is filled with human beings. <laughs> where, do you want to crawl over them? Yeah. I'm in no rush. There's an order. That's right. And we, we respect order. So when you fly, and when you take advantage of those $185 round trip fares, it's going to be a wonderful trip, more so if you follow some of these things we've mentioned. Now, now you can see how upset we get. Oh, we could go on. The point here is to meet in the middle somewhere. We be a little less upset, you be a little less incompetent. And that's right, I'm talking to you. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you think you can be happy traveling now? Give us your worst travel experience or your little pet peeve as to what ruins the whole plane flight for you. Give us a comment. Like it. We'll like it back. Can we do that? I think so. Well, we can comment. Oh, we can like it back. Yeah. Or heart it back or love it back. Sure. Whatever. Whatever.